Another eventful night last night on The Bachelor Canada. We went it from. It was a uh, good one. No kidding. Now we know what those girls do when they're not actually on the show. Some trouble happened, but we're now down to four girls. So let's start at the beginning with the one on one with Trish. And she got quite a nice present. She got a lovely gift. They had a lovely date, actually. They seemed to really be getting along. Tim was opening up, and then she opened up a little box. And sh look at her face. She said she's never gotten a gift so nice in her life. And it was, wait for it, the su suspense. There you go, necklace and earrings, which she promptly put on her and continued the very romantic day out in Italy. I like her, I, she's moved up to one of my uh, one of my faves. Their relationship seems to be progressing. Which Naturally is and nicely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then he took three girls out for a date, which is really just more like a challenge, where they had to paint him. And it was the most <laughs> awkward thing in the world to watch. I was sitting there going, "Is he? he's going to leave the towel on, right? And then they're kind of awkwardly painting him. It was and weird, yeah. They're in the middle of a square in Italy, and there's people watching <laughs> them and just kind of looking and going like, what the heck is happening? So the finished results are are hilarious and then Tim chose which one he liked best and then chose that girl to go for a more one-on-one -on -one time so he didn't know who painted what wait till you see these here they Just actually <laughs> did it a really good job uh not bad well not bad one of them looks pretty good I, I would have drawn a stick figure yeah something like <laughs> That one, maybe. <laughs> but, or that one there. Mine would have looked more like that. So he ended up choosing Lisa, which was interesting because she had something that she needed to tell him. Take a look at this. So, the other night when us girls went out, the server, bartender, whatever he was, came over and we did the whole like two kiss cheek thing and he just kind of grabbed me and he kissed me. Which, Did I mean, though? I've been to Italy and that never happened to me. Just saying, I don't know what the customs are, but I don't know that they're quite, that the waiters make out with you. Right. Now, there are various versions of the truth, and uh, Sachelle actually told her version of what happened to Tim. Grabbing some guy and making out with him, and then I'm having to pull her away and then turn around two seconds later and she's making out with him again. And different story. It was really hard <laughs> to see how he was reacting. That was not really shown a lot throughout the episode was his response mm -hmm. to, to the whole situation. And uh, really kind of thought that after that, Lisa would be going home. It seemed like a no-brainer. But she pled her case. I am sick about what happened. I am absolutely crazy about you, and I did not expect to be. I understand if this is it for us, but, and I don't want this to be the end. I think we actually have something special. Well, and Tim agreed because he kept her after all of that and said goodbye to the ballerina, Kaylin, who we all know really, really liked him. And that really surprised me because mm -hmm. throughout the season, Kaylin has really been quite forward with Tim. They've yeah. spent a lot of time together one-on-one, -on -one, but Lisa oh. got the rose and Kaylin was sent packing. Yikes. Not good. So the drama will continue next Tuesday on The Bachelor of Canada with the hometown dates. Tim is going home with all the ladies to meet all their families, and that's always a good episode. Always fun. Nice little tour of Canada we'll have next that's week. Right, and we'll have the full recap next Wednesday. After this, a look ahead to today's big vote. Bartley Kivas from the Free Press joins us with some last-minute tips for all you that might be undecided.